Hey, so maybe you want your first bra to be perfect. Or maybe you've been wearing bras for a while and you're just not finding that perfect bra. Well, this video is going to help you out because personally, I feel like bras are really hard to find, especially if you want that perfect bra that you can wear every day that will go well with you and your outfits. So today we're gonna be testing out a week's worth of bras. I also want to say, I'm gonna be doing a collaboration with NYX Teen. Previously, I did a video reviewing their period panty underwear. By the end of the video, I was like, whoa, these are so cool because they're literally period proof. So I wear them every time I'm on my period. I've gotten my friends onto them. And then they contacted me and we've kind of gained a relationship and they had this amazing idea which is so crazy that I'm a part of. They selected five curators and I'm one of them to create bras specifically designed for teens. And as you guys may know, I designed a makeup line specifically for teens. So I'm all about this teen world because I also am a teen, so yeah. So I'm gonna be working on a bra, I'm gonna be designing it, but I really want your help to create this perfect bra for both of us. So down below in the description, you can fill out a survey that literally is describing your perfect bra. You're gonna select the kind of styles, the fit, exactly what you want in a bra, so we can really make the perfect bra for both of us. And we're gonna be testing bras in this video, so we're gonna get to make the perfect bra and find the perfect bra. So I say let's get into this video. So today is the shopping day. We're about to go shopping. Might do some other shopping while we're at it. The first stop is going to be pink. So she just sized me and she says I'm a double D here um, because the bras run smaller here, but everywhere else she would recommend a D. So I'm gonna go grab some double Ds from pink. I'm not gonna try them on because it's gonna be kind of a surprise once I get it. So then we can try them on together um, at my house with all the other bras. You feel? Um, so we're gonna go to the pink section now. This is one of the most popular bras. It's the push-up bra from Pink. It's not really that push-up. It's very like lightly push-up. It's kind of more just like heavily lined, I guess you could say. Oh, that's nice. I like this color a lot. So I just checked out a Victoria's Secret. I got 132 double D and 132 D, just in case the double D is too big. But we're now at Target. We're gonna go bra shopping here. Okay, let's see. Well, this looks good. We have to find my size. That's gonna be like the hard part, I think. So I found 134C. It reminds me of the color of my first bra. Or I don't know if it was my first bra, but like my first real bra. Okay, I just found this bra and it's a 32, no, 34C, my bad. That's my sister size. Also, I feel like I should describe a sister size for you. So my size is a 32D. That means if you cannot find that exact size, then you can go down a cup size and up a band size. So that would make me a 34C. I feel like your sister size is going to come in really handy at places like this. I think I'm going to get this one because it's kind of different. So I'm now in Forever 21, heading to the bra section. I found this bra, which is really cute. It has like this like strap right here that like it's really cute it like shows rather than the bra showing i think this is cute but the only thing is it's a 34b and i'm like a 32d so that's like really not my size so i found a strapless black bra i feel like overall it will probably work i really don't have any options i've like dug through every single bra this is the only one i found that is close to my size so i think i'm gonna have to go with this so the next stop is nordstrom's so we're here. There's a lot of really cute bralettes, too. Not what we're looking for, but I'm gonna get sized first, and then I'm gonna get a bra. So, she, um, sized me as a 30F. That's very big. Um, uh, I was a little shook when I heard that. Um, and yeah, this is what it looks like overall. Um, yeah, it's nothing, like, too crazy. But yeah, that is what I got at Emotions. We're on our way home. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, oh, it's so pretty. So after the shopping, it is day one. So we're gonna start out with the cheapest bra and we're gonna work our way up to the most expensive out of them all. So the first day is Forever 21. They have the cheapest bra out of the bunch. This is $12.90. And I got a 34A cup, which is not my sister's size. My sister's size is a 34C, but there was like no other sizes that came close to me. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna make this work. Here's a little info about this bra. It features underwire, lightly padded cups with a hook back closure. And you can hand wash it in cold water. That is pretty much the description on this bra. So it's not very detailed, but I've never worn a strapless bra. So I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna wear it with a tube top with no straps. So it's just gonna be like a tube top. Well, with a bra under it, but like you can't see the bra. 
So at the beginning of each day, I'm going to try on the bra with a white t-shirt so we can give every single bra a fair chance to see really what the cup looks like around the girls. Because some bra... Uh, <clears throat> We're going to see how all these bras compare. So I have the strapless bra on now. I feel like overall it's kind of compressing my boobs. Like I can kind of feel my boobs spilling out here and they definitely kind of are. But that is because of the cup size is too small for me. But I feel like it might be actually good because it will hold my like bra up. But this is what the strapless bra from Forever 21 and the tube top look like together. I actually really like it. I like how there's no straps. But it's kind of funny because like the sun has given me the craziest tan lines. I'm going to be taking front and side pictures of each bra so we can see how the shape is oh my look at this this is so funny but this is the front and this is the side angle so overall I feel like it fits okayly like around the band like the band size is good the cup size is just small but yeah I'm gonna take you throughout my day today we're gonna see what it's like to wear a strapless bra we've taken the lead what just ignore that oh wait didn't put deodorant on today Give me a second. Just putting the daily dose of deodorant on. Everything that I'm wearing today is from Brandy. Just so you know. You know. Just in case you're wondering. I'm so basic. Everything is from Brandy. I think the first step is I kind of want to drink. And then we're probably going to go skateboarding. Because uh, I did most of my school this morning. So, yeah. So, I'm at Safeway right now. I just got a pink drink. And I'm pretty pumped about it. I have I've pulled up this top quite a bit. Like, I keep on like going like this. And like that because it's like it's a little it's falling for sure uh, I haven't had to pull it up too much but like I feel like I've pulled it up a decent amount at the same time but I got a pink drink I'm gonna get some chips and then we're gonna go to a skate park and I'm gonna try to skate because I'm a really bad skater like I really want to learn how to skate um but yeah woo woo I wonder can you skateboard in the grass yep definitely <laughs> okay so I'm gonna try to skateboard I look like a bug in the shadow because of my helmet. <laughs> but one time I was like skateboarding, or well, skateboarding, and I like fell like back and it hurt so bad. So now I wear a helmet when I practice. So I've been skateboarding, kind of. I feel like I'm actually getting better with my balance, so pat on the back. Um, but overall this has stayed up pretty well. Like I've still had to like pull it up, but like with any shirt you kind of have to pull it up. With any bra sometimes you'll have to pull it up. You're not supposed to, you know, like obviously if your bra fits you correctly, you won't have to pull it up or down. Sometimes you have to adjust it though. If you're running around, like, you know, it's gonna move a little bit. I'm gonna do a little jump test while I'm listening to some music. I'm gonna go up and down 20 times. One, two, three. Yeah, I definitely feel like I'll have to pull it up after that, but like that's not too bad. So, I'm now with Una. Hi! <laughs> um, and we are getting boba right now. And my strapless bra is, I feel like it's slowly starting to like kind of sink down my body a little more because like my sweat is kind of like making it slipperier. I don't really even know. Um, but we like rode our bikes here. So, I think I'm just like kind of like overall warm. So, it fell down and it's still falling down. But, um, yeah. It's not bad. I feel like it's it's working. Um, and for the price, it's actually pretty good. So, me and Una just cut food. Um, but we like ate most of it. So I finished dinner with Una. I got back, I kinda had a little jam sesh. Um, but honestly, I really like wearing a strapless bra with a tube top. I feel like it makes it look more of like a tube top, not like a tube top with weird straps that, you know, attached. Um, so I would actually recommend this. I really want to order another size because the band I feel like I'm realizing is actually too big as it's stretching out throughout the day and the cup size is way too small. But if you actually find your true size, I feel like this bra is a really good bra to get because it's a very simple bra that is strapless and it's affordable. So I like this bra this bra what was that um but i actually do like this bra quite a lot a lot what am i even doing so it is the next day and this next bra is from target this bra is only nine cents more expensive it is 12.99 and i got what size did i get i kind of forgot i got a 34c which is my sister size so let's read the description on this target bra so funny this morning i woke up and i'm just like no i'm just not getting ready i'm just gonna wear like pajamas as you can see, I look very great in pajamas, you know, just comfortable at its finest. And that's not me farting. That is my chair. Like, do you hear this? Yeah. But back to the bra. The straps adjust. Detail lace makes the bra fun and flirty, so you feel confident knowing it's under any outfit. Okie dokie. So I guess they're informing that you can wear this under any outfit. 
and I should feel very confident today. So let's put this bra on with the white t-shirt. So as I'm noticing, as I'm taking off the tags, um, I just wanted to show you the um, padding in the cup. So it's nothing too significant. I would say it's a little more padded than the Forever 21 bra. So I feel like the cup size definitely fits much better. I feel like the band is a little loose. I can't lie. Like I've already had to pull it down a little. And that's a sign that it's like riding up and down, which means the band is a little bit too big. Here's a picture from the front and the side. Now let's get into my real outfit. It's a really basic outfit because I'm way too lazy to think of a cute or like a really cute outfit. Um, so here's the basic outfit. Just got dressed. It's so like, you know, this is such an original outfit. You know, not a brandy shirt, definitely not Lululemon leggings, and definitely not Vans, you know, just no. This is all Chanel, no I'm kidding, um, but I love these basic outfits, even though they're so basic, but I'm too lazy. I have to go to a math class, and um, yeah, I gotta roll because I'm like already almost late, so I go. I just rode my bike to get food. <sighs> I'm sweating so much right now, y'all. It is so hot out, but I got food, and I'm so happy about it, and this bra is actually really, really comfortable. I haven't really had to adjust it. Um, I look like a wreck right now, but you know what, that's chill. Um, but yeah, I like this bra a lot so far. I'm gonna eat with it and see how it goes. I don't know what would go wrong, but we'll see. So, me, oh wait, I'll get copyrighted for this song. Alexa, stop. Anywho, so, me and my friend Una just got- Alexa? Alexa, stop. Oh no. Oh no. Um, but me and Una just got ready for a concert that we're going to. Yeah. We're gonna go see Ugly God. Did I get you copyrighted too? Oh, wait, did, would I get copyrighted for that? We'll see. Shh. Okay, we're just gonna have to like bleep out like half of this video. <laughs> yeah, like, like it'll be a surprise, on every you guys. song. <laughs> Literally. So, um, we just got ready. I'm wearing my camo pants. We're just, you know, we're looking cute. We curled our no, she straightened her hair, I curled my hair. Um, but I feel like we're still gonna be asked if we're sisters. Yeah, of course. We like literally kind of look like sisters. I know, if you get past me accidentally dyeing my hair orange. <laughs> Your hair's not orange. It's, it's just, orange. It's slightly blonde. Oh, <laughs> concert I forgot to end the vlog but the bra actually held up really really well I enjoyed that bra a lot I definitely would actually buy more colors in that bra I feel like it's really comfortable it kind of reminds me of a bralette but just a little more support so I overall like it but it's now the next day which is the third day and today we're gonna be wearing the pink everyday wear push-up bra I do not consider this like crazy push-up it is considered the push-up bra I call it more like extra support but but a pink I got size for a 32 double D on the edge of a double D, D double D. So I got a double D and a D. I'm going to try both on and see which one fits better. I'm really curious which one's going to fit me better. So the one I have in my hand right now is the double D. And then this is the 32 D. So I'm going to try both on with the white t-shirt and I'll be back. Also, the description on this bra is an everyday fave with soft no-show cups and a super comfortable fit. So I have the 32D on right now. Overall, I feel like it fits. Because the 32D, I feel like was kind of compressing my chest. It kind of just like hurt. I put on the 32 double D, which actually fits Fitch, exactly. It definitely fits a lot better. This is the front, and then this is the side. They have like nice round cups. Um, yeah, I like this so far. So I'm gonna get my outfit on. We're gonna see how it looks. So I have my shirt on now. I feel like the bra fits with it really well. And the pinkness almost kind of goes with my skin tone. But I think we're gonna go pick up my friend Megan now. And I'll take you along. So I'm now with Megan. She looks so cute. I love her hair like this. She's been wearing it recently like that. And I kind of want to try it. But I feel like it looked really weird on me. But probably wouldn't. Your hair's really long. So like, I don't know. Cute. I don't know. I did pigtails and they weren't bad. But a lot of people disliked them. But. The bra is good so far. I'm doing a bra video if you want to know what I'm talking about my bra. Oh, uh, okay. But it's so far really good. I haven't had to pull it up or down. Um, overall, I like it. There's nothing too crazy about it. It's like not like, oh my god, I feel like I'm in a pillow. But like, it's not bad. So after our daytime adventures, we came back to my house. She had a bunch of homework to do. And I was just chilling, helping her out. We were listening to music. We had a little photo shoot. Uh, it was really funny because we kept like dropping the camera like right on our face. It was pretty funny. Um, but this bra has held up pretty well. 
So overall, I do like this bra, but I don't really feel like anything really stood out to me when I was wearing it. Um, so we'll see how the other bras compare. So it is the last day, and this last bra is actually from Nordstrom's, and I think this is the weirdest, weirdest, exactly, the weirdest sizing I think I've ever gotten. Because she first sized me as an FE, which is pretty crazy. And I'm like, no, no way. I don't believe that. Um, but she's like, yes, I definitely believe that. Because she went down in a band size, which that means you go up in a cup size. But Nordstrom's is really good at like sizing everyone. From like the smallest chested person to the biggest chested person. You know, it really, it's very vast. Um, and they have a lot of options, which I thought was really cool. Um, and the girl who sized me was super sweet and very helpful. Um, but... Here it is. Um, it honestly looks more of a bralette because it's like literally not padded. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like not padded at all. And it was $68. Let's read on the website the description of this bra because I'm kind of curious what they're going to say about it. Because to me, that looks like a bralette. Oh, my lovely chair. This bra is a comfortable design with Natura's, Natura's feather lace detail. That adds a little romance to every day. So don't really need that. But it says it's a comfortable t-shirt t-shirt designed bra. So let's try it on with the white t-shirt. So now that I have the white t-shirt on, I would definitely describe this as more of like a t-shirt bra bralette. So now I'm going to put on my tube top for the day because I am going to be wearing a tube top today. I'm in the mood to wear one. So uh, let's try it on with this bra. I don't know. I'm kind of debating on changing this top because I don't really like the mix of these two. I can't remember if I've worn this shirt this week, but you know what? If I have whoopsie daisy, I wear this shirt a lot. Um, but I'm gonna wear this right here. Uh, I don't honestly really like this bra very much. I feel like it's overall okay. It just, I don't know. I don't know why, it's just throwing me off. Like, I've never really worn a bra like this and I just, I don't think I'm liking it. So I'm at the skate park right now about to skate. I feel like I'm slowly and slowly getting better, um, but it's super windy and I feel like I'm just gonna like fall over much easier. Um, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Oh. <laughs> the pressure's on when someone's videoing you and just like nothing turns out well. Like when someone's even taking a picture of you and you know it, it just like your smile like shifts. It's like my skateboarding shifts too. Like not nearly as good when you're videoing me. So I just finished up skateboarding. I'm now at my friend's school to do some music while I wait for her to get out of her class. Um, then we're gonna go to the gym, I think, and maybe a park. We'll see. But overall, I would definitely not work out in this bra. Like it's really not padded, so I feel like it's not gonna give me much support. Like if I do that, like it low-key kind of hurts. <laughs> so Una's out of class. We're now at the gym. I'm gonna work out. We're both work. Actually, you're working out in a workout-ish outfit. Kind of. I'm I'm wearing jeans, the belt, and not a sports bra so we always come prepared <laughs> oh yeah so i'm back home from the gym i had some dinner and i'm about ready to kind of just get in bed slash take my bra off so um overall this bra was like okay honestly not a really big fan of it it was the most expensive bra and i feel like overall it was comfortable but it didn't really like I don't know, it just didn't impress me, and for nearly $70, I feel like it's kind of not worth the money at all. So that was the video. I hope you maybe got some feedback on how to look for your perfect bra. And I feel like my number one tip is make sure you get sized. I think that's so, so important. Go to a store, get sized so you know your size. I feel like that's super important because you don't want to just guess your size. And if you still feel like you haven't found your perfect bra, then maybe we can design one perfectly for you. There's a survey in the description. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching, and huggy huggies.